What up gamers, it's Noon here, and we're back with another Slay the Spire run, Ironclad Ascension 6. Uh, the debuff this is start each run damaged. Not the worst one, honestly. We have some decent options here. We're up against the Guardian. Let's have a look at our act. Random rare. Choose a rare colorless card is quite nice. Uh, we can avoid any elites this way, which is nice. Oops. Uh, we can take oh, campfire, elite campfire, these two directions, which are both pretty nice. We can do another little thing here. That looks pretty good to me. Something like this. Uh, I like the lose eight max HP for rare colorless card. There's a bunch of good ones that we can get here. Um, Apotheosis, Master of Strategy, uh, Hand of Greed are the three kind of main ones. There's Apotheosis. It's an amazing take. Um, now, which elites do we want? I'm not super keen about an early shop here. We'll have a bit more than 99 gold. Um, so I guess let's go this way. Now, something useful with Apotheosis is when to know not to play it. Uh, but I think I will play it here because we can full block. It's also a premium upgrade. All right, now we just need two strikes to kill. Take two in this fight, totally fine. Beautiful. Don't hate this in flame. Not an amazing floor one card, but it's fine. Do really want to prioritize taking some attacks. It's funny, I said it's important to know when not to play Apotheosis and then have immediately played it. It's an extremely good card. Um, it is often correct to play it. Now does Bash Strike here kill? It does not. I can inflame defend strike, I think. That seems fine. Beautiful. Headbutt. Shockwave is also a very good card, but it's expensive and we haven't taken any attacks, so I'm going to take the headbutt here. block. Alright, not too bad. Nice. Okay, these are all pretty good choices. With the Inflame, I quite like the Pummel. The Exhaust is a little unfortunate. Maybe the Hemokinesis? It is a large bonk. Taking two is not ideal, but it's not terrible. Sword Boomerang, also good with the Inflame. I think I like the Hemo here. Pretty close. Okay, and we get a Toy Ornithopter. That is a great question mark room to have come across. Um, this sucks a little bit, but I think I'm just going to block for as much as I can here. Okay, not bad. I think I like this pommel strike, seems good. And we're 100% smithing Apotheosis here. It's a really big upgrade to make it one cost instead of two. And we do get it on turn one here, which is beautiful. Um, so I can strike twice to block 10, 
Or I can defend twice and block 16. I think I will block. Not sure about that. Um... Let's defend, headbutt back the defend, play the inflame. Headbutt's really useful in this fight because your deck fills up with so much crap, just having even a little bit of control over what you draw is really nice. I'm gonna not take the two damage from Hemo here. Hemo just kills, but I think we're guaranteed to get the kill next turn anyway, so I'm not going to play it. Just save that to health. Beautiful. And a Singing Bowl is a really nice reward, especially after we took that minus 8 HP there. Now, these are some interesting cards. I do quite like the Bludgeon. We do have Hemo, which is a, a, a pretty big bonk. Bludgeon upgraded does 42 damage, which is... Just really good. I'm not super tempted by either of the others. I'm happy to take a bludgeon here. And what are we smithing? The pommel strike? The inflame? I think the pommel strike. That draw two is quite valuable. An ink bottle. I'll take that. Uh, I feel fine clicking a couple of times here. Okay, only had to click once. A letter opener is okay. It's quite nice in this particular fight. Um, I think I need to just put the damage on this guy, unfortunately. Takes seven, two plus five. Okay, and he gets shielded, which is unfortunate, but we can just bonk him. We could also just bonk the gremlin. Are we guaranteed to be able to deal 17 next turn? I think Inflame Strike Strike guarantees it. So I'm going to do this. Or I can just play Bludgeon again. Uh... Apo Strike Strike also kills, right? They go up to dealing 9. That's 18. Nice. Okay, once he's protecting himself, he uh, always um, attacks, I'm fairly sure. Uh, not Hemokinesis, that's the one card we don't want to play. Unfortunately, we get the Ink Bottle there. That's alright. I think these are all pretty mid. I'd rather take the max HP here. And Smith... I guess the Inflame? Okay, we get the knob. We do get Apo turn 1, which is a really big deal. It's a great draw. We just need to... Play that Hemo. I could probably have thought about it a bit more. Like, if I if I had realized I was going to definitely draw Bludgeon this turn, I probably could have not played the Hemokinesis there. That's fine. Um, Armor is kind of redundant with Apo, and it's not a great block cut. Like, I don't, it's only ever blocks as much as an unupgraded defend, so I think I'm skipping there. Don't love the flex. We have the inflame, but we also don't have anything that really scales with it, so I'm just going to take the max HP here. I don't think perfected strikes really consideration, and I do not want this doubt. Thank you. Um, maybe the headbutt? We want to be playing headbutt quite a lot. Um, we could also rest for another card reward. That's not crazy, actually. At worst, it's two extra hit points. Um, given that we have the Apotheosis, I think this is actually a pretty good, pretty good call. And I love this True Grit. Very happy to take a True Grit here. I 
just bludgeon right now. Let's do it. And True Grit here is awesome. Okay, getting the Apo there is not awesome. This is tricky. I could headbutt the Apo. That's not a bad idea. But then I take extra damage. I think I'd just rather block for five here. Bit disappointing. Okay, get rid of the bash. Not ideal, but not terrible. So it's not been an amazing fight so far, but I believe Bludgeon can help with that. True Grit's really nice in this fight because it lets you get rid of um, basic strikes. Uh, Swift Pot could save me 8 health here. I don't think that's worth it. Twenty-three plus twelve is thirty is not enough to transform. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Do I want to transform now? I think I want to transform next turn. Okay, getting the bludgeon out there is fine. Getting rid of the strikes just makes your blocking much more consistent in the turns where you need it, like here. Uh, I think I'm going to trigger this headbutt now. Losing the bash has made this fight quite a lot harder. Alright, and I think we're guaranteed... Uh, we're not a guaranteed to kill this turn, are we? 12 is an exact transform. That's a shame. Oh no, it's not. Uh, it is. Alright. Get it next turn. And I'm actually going to play this second defend just for ink bottle for next act. Alright, decent fight. Not amazing, decent. Reaper is interesting. We've got that 80% potion chance. It's a real shame at this stage. I prefer a feed, honestly. Limit Break isn't bad. That's some pretty strong scaling. Not that we have anything that it really scales with. So we don't have multi-hit stuff. Juggernaut's not crazy. Skip isn't crazy. Kind of like the look of this Reaper. Let's take that. Oh boy. Pandora's box for nine full transforms seems very good. Sneko Eye is also very good. It does make our Apo upgrade bad. It goes really well with our Bludgeon. I think I can't go past this Pandora's box though. Getting so many transforms. We do get a feed, that's great. Feel no pain, another inflame, whirlwind uppercut want to get rid of this perfected strike otherwise very happy with that pandora's box we do need some energy um happy with an early shop here as well i feel pretty confident about act two elites we can take three with no campfires i don't love that so i'm thinking we do something like this and then we can decide if we want to go to another shop and or a burning elite. 
Oops. Uh, let's mark this in blue. Something like this, or something like this. Yeah. I think that looks good to me. Um, is there anything I want to pommel strike here? I don't think so. So I'm just going to not play a card here. <sighs> okay, that's pretty good. knock this guy down. I'm not great at this fight, honestly. Stealing 22, so I can just knock this guy out of the air. I think that's my best block, right? That block's for 12. Whirlwind. Are these... A, uh, uh, we're at a low ascension, so this actually knocks them out of the air. That's great. I'm silly. And now we should be able to get a uh, feed here pretty easily. The Reaper is not bad. Yeah, let's do that. So we can Reaper. True Grit, I guess the Hemokinesis. And now we should be able to get our feed off as well. Boom. Good fight. I'm going to get a Power Potion. Now the Pommel Strike seems okay, but I think I just want the skip here. We don't have enough energy to really take advantage of more draw at this stage. If I could get a Bloodletting, that would be great. Potion Belt is alright. I definitely want to remove this Perfected Strike. It's easily the worst card in our deck. Is there anything else that I want here? Waffle isn't bad, but we have a feed, so it's not so important. Potion Belt is good in a speculative kind of way. None of these cards are amazing, so yeah, let's just remove this Perfected Strike. And I think that means we probably do want to go to the second shop uh, later on. Yeah. Pretty disappointing shop. Okay, uh, Face Trade, I've talked about this before. Um, two good faces, two bad faces, one caca face. Um, this is late enough in the game that I don't really have any interest in gambling on it. Alright. I'm just playing that for ink bottle. Take the full 12, it's a bit unfortunate. So is this an inflame uppercut? Or just deal 34? I think inflame uppercut. Take that heal and no more damage there, thank you. Another Intimidate seems okay. Intimidate plus, moreover. Up against Collector, I think that's fine. Don't think I want this Blood Potion. Uh, do I? Nah. Amazing turn. So I can just kill here. 
Uh, I would love to get the feet off, but I think I'd just rather not take 14 damage. I like smithing the uppercut or the whirlwind. Whirlwind's very good against uh, the elites of this act, so I think I'll do that one. Okay, this is not the one that it's very good against. Demon form or evolve? I'll take the evolve here. And with nine cards, I'm going to not attack here. Take a little bit more damage. This fight is definitely a damage race. I can deal 13 times 4 here. I think that's better than blocking for 12, is it? Got quite a lot of damage coming up. Let's do it this way. I probably could have killed with Whirlwind. Uh, maybe not. 39 plus 27 plus 27. Nice. Not bad. Ceramic fish is okay. Kind of works against the singing bowl. This immolate is fine. I'm not sure we need it. I think I want the max HP here. I'm tempted to upgrade this true grit, but I think I just want to rest. Max HP or gold. I like the sentinel. We do need some um, some energy. A more bank. If we're going to the shop, I don't want it. So let's take the sapphire key here. And now I will smith the true grid. It goes really well. The upgraded true grid goes really well with the sentinel that we just picked up. Get a uh, pair. Beautiful. Okay. Another not amazing shop here. Is there anything we want to remove? The bash, maybe? I'm not sure that there is. I think I want this energy pot, this horn cleat. Do I want a toolbox? Toolbox is fun and like fairly valuable. Gives you one, ran uh, you get to choose one of three random colorless cards. We do have Apotheosis, which is the best colorless card probably. Um, but there's a bunch of stuff that it can give us that's quite nice. Master of Strategy being prime among them. I um, think I will leave. Are we up to taking on this Burning Elite? I think we are. Knowing it's not Book of Stabbing, I think we are. Kind of want to use both of my potions here. We are definitely getting attacked next turn at this stage, so I think that's a good idea. Just use the Reaper. This has like a fairly high chance of hitting this gremlin, but not guaranteed, so I think I'm going to do this one, even though it's a little bit of a waste of the feed. I think it's worth it to have a, like, 50-50 chance of not getting attacked here. And indeed, we are not getting attacked. 
It's currently dealing... Uh, 60, 24, not quite enough to kill. So in which case I will do this. Still doesn't quite kill, but... We should be able to kill next turn. Um, I can inflame Whirlwind here. I still take 21, but I think that's fine. Killing all three of those dudes seems valuable. So if I True Grit, I can then play the Bludgeon. Let's do it. Deal 72. Feels good, man. Dot PNG. Uh, let's do this. You have a chance of hitting that feed, but let's just not. Incense Burner is amazing. Emerald is useful. I think I like the Shockwave. <sighs> do we want a Fire Breathing? We don't have anything that adds curses or statuses. Shockwave Plus is hard to turn down. Let's do it. Take two. So, this would block for three. Reasonably bad turn here. But we don't mind resting. We don't have any crucial upgrades. I'm going to do this because we draw one here. If we draw, for example, a Pommel Strike, we can get our feed done. Fire Potion is fine. Max HP here is fine. Is there anything we want to smith? The Feel No Pain seems like a pretty valuable upgrade. Unfortunately, we have uh, this set, uh, the Incense Burner set up for the wrong turn here. Um, because, what's his face, ne a collector never attacks on turn one. I think let's rest. Managed to save one health. Do I want to play this Intimidate now and just get it out of my deck? I think I do. It's sort of a waste of the three, but that's fine. So I can Inflame, Inflame, True Grit. Block for 12. Or I can headbutt firepot. 
Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do the one with more health. Um, and let's get back... Oh, we're about to draw whatever card we get. So let's get the Sentinel in that case. Alright, take five. Let's do this. We heal and block for three. Not amazing, but... Okay. That's really nice being intangible on this turn. Deal 40 seems good. Um, let's True Grit the Shockwave. Really would like some energy um, from this upcoming relic. What's 14 times 3? Less than 72. So I could just kill here and skip the feed. I think that's worth it. Corruption is great. Coffee Dripper is interesting. It does mean our Dream Catcher is a bit less valuable, but it's our most... Or like, we could also consider the Slaver's Collar. Which isn't bad. Like, we're probably fine in hallway fights. We do have other healing options, so we don't need it to heal, but upgrades are not very valuable at the moment. Um, and no longer being able to rest makes our dream catcher completely useless, which also devalues our ceramic fish singing bowl situation slightly. We could also go tiny house. We could use the potion. 50 gold is nice. Max HP is nice. Card choice is nice. Upgrade is nice. But I really want the energy, so I think it's between one of these two. I'm going to take the Dripper. It's a little disappointing, but it does mean that we can just, like, avoid rest sites for the most part. Really like a shop. We don't have great shop, shop options. Shoptions. This is a pretty shitty act layout, really. I'm thinking something like this. And then we can decide which way to go from there. We'll go this way, since this rest site is kind of useless. So maybe it's like this. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Not a great turn. I think getting that corruption down is valuable, though. Okay, a little unfortunate.
If we'd hit that guy only once, that would have been nice. I could have actually let that go on quite a bit longer um, to get the heal, which probably would have been sensible. Didn't get Reaper or Feed off there. Okay, it's a slightly rough turn one. Okay, intangible this turn is very nice. I think I'm just headbutting. Oh no, now we're drawing here. In that case, let's take the Sentinel. Unfortunate. It's a small chance that we can draw back to it. kill all three of them next turn. I don't think so, I'm just going to kill here. Cleave is okay, but two max HP is better. I'll headbutt back this pommel strike. So we'll get nine block here. thing if I could figure out some way to hit these guys, but could not. Take two there, that's fine. Would love a Dark Embrace. Yep, that's the end of my story. I'd love a Dark Embrace. So, if I play this, I take 14 plus 12, which is 26. I block for 6, and I heal a bunch of it back. Don't think that's worth it. Or I can... kill here... I think I would like to try and get the feed off. T 
take one here. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, this is unfortunate. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do to avoid taking a bunch of damage here, so let's play this one. Get all of our health back. There's the Dark Embrace, thank you very much. I summoned that very effectively. Um, I don't like no longer heal. We do have some decent healing things here. I don't like the curse, and we're doing pretty well for money, so let's just fight a boss. Don't want to play the corruption just yet. It's probably fine, honestly, but, um... Still 70, whereas the steel's 19 times 3, which is less than 70, so let's do this one. times 4 or 19 times 2. Oh, that just killed. Silly. Okay, dead branch. Beautiful. We'll absolutely be taking that. It's going to be another silly dead branch run. Okay, I feel like that kind of locks us in here for a win. right. <laughs> I forgot we have Dead Branch. Now we can play Corruption fearlessly as soon as we get it, which is awesome. Searing blow sucks. Spot weakness is awesome. Uh, I don't think I need... Oh, that was a random one. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing strength now. Sure, I'll play that offering. Good fight. Really shows off the uh, the whole situation. Uh, I really like this bloodletting. That seems awesome. Okay, not a great turn. Uh, I think Dark Embrace is a bit less important now that we've got the Dead Branch, so I'm happy to do that. Take a little bit of damage here.
Okay, that's more bloodlettings than strictly necessary here. <laughs> Especially to get them all in one turn uh, when we don't have anything that we want to play. Oh, that was kind of silly. Uh, sure, I'll play you. Take a little bit of damage here. It's fine. Invulnerable here is nice. Time to get silly. Blood for blood just kills. I think we can get this feed though. Feed is doing 31. Nice. Happy Flower, another energy pot is great. I like this barricade. Roll into the shop. Oh, uh, medkit seems amazing. Uh, Impervious seems amazing. Pummel seems amazing. Centennial puzzle seems amazing. Body slam seems good, but kind of unnecessary. Let's take it. All right. Good shot. Uh, let's use RNG potion here. Doogie, time to get silly with it. Particularly against this uh, this opponent. This is an amazing. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this clash, even though it's possible we might be able to play it here. Juggernaut seems strong with feel no pain here. So I can just kill straight away here. Let's do that. Uh, it's fun. Karen's Ashes is crazy. Whenever you exhaust a card, deal three damage to each enemy. Don't mind if I do. This seems like a decent deck for an internal blade. Uh, an internal blade. <laughs> I don't think there's any good deck for an internal blade. An infernal blade. Um, I think this next elite is a good idea. Not sure about that shop, though. Get a red skull that's going to be basically useless. Getting rid of the bludgeon seems fine. Uh... I don't think the Berserk's necessary at this stage. Feel no pain. Flame. I've already got our Corruption down, so I don't think we need to do that. Alright. Pretty decent turn. Uh, 
I would like to get Ink Bottle up a little bit here. It's maybe even worth trying to get Incense Burner up a little bit. We do have another combat before this Elite. It's probably completely unnecessary, honestly. So I'll just take my feed. And a Fear Pot is... Damn it! Oh, that really sucks. I discarded the wrong potion. That's really annoying. Another True Grit. Thank you. Let's recall here. I'm irritated about doing the wrong potion there. Oh yeah, I forgot that draws for us, doesn't it? Um... Headbutt this pommel strike. I love Dead Branch nonsense. Feels a little cheap almost, but what are you gonna do? Ghostly armor turns into another ghostly armor, sure, sure. Uh, let's do you. And you. Get the feed. Beautiful. Okay, now discard the smoke bomb, please, not the other one. And I think I will take a real disarm, that seems good. Mummy hand would be nice. Is there anything I want to remove? The bash is looking pretty get rid of -able. get get ridable of. Yeah, I think let's get rid of our bash. Um, don't think I want any of these. Don't think I want any of these cards. Alright. Okay, shop. Not amazing shop, but okay, shop. Okay, turn one. There is awesome. No, I, yeah, exhaust the sentinel. Do it. Metallicize Barricade is a funny combo. It's time to get silly. Play the Suffering. actually have anything to get rid of here. Uh, just do this for the, uh, the counter there. Oh no, he's doing the big attack. Does anyone here like being silly? Uh, I don't think I really care about playing any of these cards. 
just going to do it for the counter. Not going to worry too much about the feed in this fight. Uh, we have what I would describe as a lot of max HP. This is the great thing about medkit, you can just play these. Mango, completely unnecessary. And what are we smithing? I guess maybe the corruption. It's important to be able to play that uh, as soon as we draw it. Alright, Donu and Decker should be pretty easy here. Okay, you can play a Clash, that's funny. Uh, I don't want to play the Pommel Strike because we might draw Corruption here. I guess I could have used my potion, but... This seems like a better turn to use the potion. Um... Yeah, it's fine, we'll take one. Really not worried about this fight. Uh, let's use this now. True Grid, uh, second corruption. Alrighty. Satisfying. Uh, I can't get the completely unnecessary feed off. That's fine. There is a Chivo, which I believe I've already got, so it won't show up here. Only 11.28. I'm surprised the score isn't higher there. Uh, I guess we took damage in a lot of our boss and elite fights, which is the main, the main source of score. I haven't set up my incense burner well for this act, but it also really doesn't matter. Uh, let's upgrade our barricade again. It's important to be able to play that. In the shop. I was going to say I'd love an energy potion, and there's an energy potion. I could also take the entropic brew. That's not crazy. Shrug it off is also really nice, but I think the energy potion is probably where it's at. Give me the corruption, please. Damn it. Yay. Oh, <laughs> that's very funny, getting a tip. Um, I was doing that to be funny. Um. Hmm. Do I use the energy potion here? I don't think so. I think I want to save it for the heart if I can. I'm not super worried about this fight. Yeah, this would be a nice turn to be intangible for. Okay. I can play all three of these and then get a chance to play the Sentinel. Um... Not sure that's worth it. I'll just play the trigger it. See what we get. Rage is pretty good. Alright. I think we're good.
Yep, glad I didn't use that potion. We even get the feed. Unfortunately, we are... Okay, there's some really unnecessary uh, relics and potions there. Just in case we're worried about dying. Do I want to rage? I don't think so. I definitely don't want a blood potion. We've got so much healing here. I'm just going to true grit this feed. Pretty unnecessary turn there. That's fine. Probably should have just taken some damage on purpose. Take a little bit of damage here, that's fine. And I will headbutt one of the True Grit Pluses. Okay, barricade is good. Just need my corruption. Thank you. I am actually going to play this, um, even though it might be a little bit silly. I believe we are well set up at this stage. Does anyone like... Silly nonsense. And let's headbutt back that body slam, and that's a good game. Pretty solid run, I would say. The dead branch really locked it in, um, as I mentioned at the time when we got it. Boom. Get wrecked, Monsieur Le Hart. Alright, let's see what the score is like. Uh, it wasn't a perfect heart fight. I don't think it was a perfect elite fight, so probably not much more than what we had, but... Alright, uh, 100, uh, yeah, 1711. Not bad at, at Ascension 6. Happy with that. Alright, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.